Hi, Cheryl Baglioli here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own tarn. What is tarn? It's t-shirt yarn. So I have one extra large t-shirt here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first cut off the arms. So I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors and go right underneath the armpit. And very quickly, I'm not worried about being neat. Just want to cut it and cut right underneath of the arms. Now this works better with the men's shirt because it doesn't have the side seam in it. Now a woman's shirt has a side seam in it, so you can't get that continuous roll. You could just get strips, but the same process could apply. It would just be a little bit more difficult to cut. So once I have this done, I'm just going to slide it out of the way. I can still use that for other pieces and to cut other pieces of material for my projects. And I'm going to straighten this out the best I can. And I'm going to cut off the bottom seam. Now again, make sure that you try to line it up so that you make sure you cut the entire bottom seam because we don't want that either. And we just want to have one tube, basically, of material left over when we're done with no seams in it. So once that's done, try to get as many wrinkles out as you can, but don't, I'm not going to have to iron this or nothing like that. Now I'm going to take the bottom and I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to bring it up to about an inch, inch and a half from my top. So you see I have this part here, and now I have the bottom part that I folded. Now if you have really good heavy duty scissors, I could do this one more time, but if you just have really good scissors, um, if you just have a regular pair of scissors, then just keep it once so that you're not trying to fight through eight layers of material. Now, here's the part that you're going to do. And I'm just eyeballing this, I'm not measuring. I'm gonna cut strips. I'm gonna cut through my fold that I folded up, but I'm not going to cut through the top. I'm gonna stop right before then. And I'm cutting about an inch, just one inch strips. So I'm just gonna cut up here. And this is the boring part that you get to watch, but I'll fast forward in the editing so that you don't have to watch me cut this entire thing. But again, we're just going to cut strips and see how I'm going through this top layer, but I'm stopping before I cut through this part here. So I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, so I'm doing my last little cut here and it's a little bit bigger, but that's all right. And again, I am just going through this top fold that I folded up and I'm stopping before I cut through. So now what I've done is I've kind of created a hula skirt, but see the top here is all still together. That was the part that was up on the edge. So now, now I'm going to open this tube that's sliced and I'm going to put my hand through it and make sure that all these little edges are on. So now my hand is through the big tube. Follow me. And I'm placing this part that's not cut on the top of my arm. So now what we're going to do is you see that we have, see if I cut all the way through, then I would just have little rings. But I want to create one continuous loop. So I'm going to come and I'm going to come up at a 45 degree angle. And I'm not going to cut through this side. I'm going to cut from the outside to the top line at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to put my scissors through the top hole and give a little snip. All right. Now I'm on the bottom and I'm going to go from the bottom first to the second little top. See how I've done that again from the bottom to the next one up. And if you just slide your scissors through it, that'll kind of keep you up. So from the bottom, catty corner, we're still kind of keeping to that 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna do this all the way across. We're almost done. So here I'm gonna cut through. Now we're cutting through our last stitch on top 
So all we have is this. So in the beginning, I cut a 45 degree angle from the outside to the top. Here I'm gonna go from the last one, 45 degree angle to the outside. What that's done now is that's now created one long strip of bias t-shirt material. But it's still just t-shirt material this time. But the fun thing about t-shirt material is it's stretchy. So if I take this now, so sometimes I'll sit down and I'll cut up some of these and then I'll just take a pile and sit down with the family while I'm watching TV. Then there's the fun part. Take it together and give it a little tug with both hands. And look, you get tarn. Because when you stretch it, those frayed edges tuck in on themselves. And so now I'm just gonna keep doing that and keep pulling. So bring it this way and pull. You don't necessarily wanna pull it through your hands like this because you don't get that same little tuck where it will fold those little bias ends in on itself. So you wanna pull a little bit out and give a little tug with both hands. Pull a little bit out and give a little tug. And just keep doing that till you've done all the material. Once you've got that all done, then you can just create a ball. So leave a part out and just start wrapping and create your little ball. Keep wrapping until you've created a ball of tarn. And now from that piece that I left out, now I can pull out. I can crochet with this, I can hook with this, I could knit with this, or I can create some beautiful sculptures and wrap this around. So that's what I do with my tarn and that's how I make it. I hope you enjoy making some too. Thanks guys.